You ready? <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I'm struggling with mental health for like, like quite a while. Maybe like started when I was like 15, probably. Uh, secondary school was a bit tough because like you're going out with your mates trying to have a good time and you hit, you're at that age, but then when you're playing with something like that, it's just, it just makes it a bit rough. And uh, I thought it was going to carry on at uni, and it did, to be honest, at the start. Uh, and I was really worried about that. That really played on, on my mind. Uh, but then a couple of my mates that were on the course with me, uh, they must have noticed that I was, like, down a lot. I don't know, maybe, like, some mood drops or whatever. And then they took me aside and, like, actually spoke about it. It was... Yeah, it was like it was a revelation. They just said like, play to your strengths. And one thing that we all had in common was we all like the same kinds of music and the same kinds of bands. And one of my friends uh, played the guitar quite a lot. He had a few guitars. Um, and so I was like, right, I like that kind of music. I'm gonna try sort of like take my mind off it by diving into something else. So I asked him, uh, can I borrow a guitar? I just went for it, man. <laughs> And ever since, like, just having that outlet and just knowing the fact that, like, there are people that took me aside to talk about it was, like, incredible. I struggle a lot less with it now. And yeah, like without them, without the people that I've met in Portsmouth, I feel like I'd still be in that same like rut that I was before.